Not everyone can be a Jedi Knight, and even in the Star Wars universe, the everyday people of the galaxy have jobs to do. But despite the existence of droids and the advances in technology that had been made by the time of the Clone Wars, there are still some jobs that are less desirable to have than others. In this video, we'll be looking at the top 5 worst jobs to have in the Star Wars galaxy. To start, we have Underworld Police. Now keep in mind that this isn't actually restricted to the Coruscant on Underworld Police. I'm referring to any law enforcement officer stationed in the more lawless parts of the galaxy. If you couldn't tell from the name, these brave individuals patrol the parts of the galaxy where crime is everywhere, and gangsters hold more power than the government. These conditions often make policing a deadly activity, and though some of the worst of these jobs are in the lawless outer rim, worlds like Coruscant that have thriving underworlds often end up being even worse. When your job title is literally used as an insult, you know your life isn't exactly fun. Nerf herders are exactly what they sound like. They watch over packs of nerfs, which are pretty much Star Wars cows. That doesn't sound all that bad, but there are other factors to consider here. Firstly, nerf herders in the Outer Rim are always at risk, considering the popularity of nerf meat among sentients and wild carnivores alike. Perhaps worst of all though, is Nerf Spit, a black, sticky, acidic substance that the creatures had a bad habit of unleashing constantly, heedless of their surroundings. Nerf Spit was nearly impossible to remove from clothing, and it could cause burns if it struck exposed skin. Being a hyperspace scout sounds more like an adventure than a hazard, but the unpredictable nature of the galaxy begs to differ. A hyperspace scout makes his living by making random jumps into hyperspace, hoping to map a faster route to a destination or discover new worlds. Such blind jumps however, more often than not, were lethal. The risk of collision with the mass shadow is incredibly high, and not something that's avoidable once a scout is in hyperspace. To add to this, most hyperspace scouts get paid by the route, which means that scouts that play it safe often end up bankrupt. This is the occupation that created Darth Bane. Being a miner is usually a bad enough job, considering the risks involved and the strain it puts on most beings. But cortosis mining is entirely different. Cortosis was a highly valued metal that was resistant to lightsaber blades, and indeed, most kinds of energy weapons, due to its conductive properties. This meant, however, that it couldn't be mined with typical mining equipment, and instead had to be mined with hydraulic jacks, whose heads wore out quickly against the metal and which often clogged with cortosis particles. Apart from the physical strain this caused, cortosis miners were also almost guaranteed to face hair loss, sickness, and an early grave due to the deadly properties of cortosis dust. Of all the livelihoods in the Star Wars universe, none is worse than being a hut slave. Serving a giant criminal slug is one thing, being bound to serve one for the rest of your life in horrid conditions with no reprieve is another entirely. Hut slaves face some of the worst conditions in the galaxy and many knew of no other life. Only on Boonta's Eve did the slaves get any sort of break from the horrors of hut servitude. But a feast that lasts for only one night each year is hardly worthwhile compensation for the worst job in the universe. And at that, a job you're forced to do as well. So what do you think? Did we miss anything? And more importantly, if you had to do one of these jobs, what would you do? Post your thoughts in the comment section below. As always guys, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.